Ladies and gentlemen, we have hot news from Stan's channel correspondent Kants. I know a lot of you hate him out there and you let him know in the comments and I like that about you. But he has sent me something that he thinks is funny, that he thinks is bizarre, that he thinks would make a good YouTube video. So we're gonna check it out. It is from a Twitter account, Trevor Show Van, Ghostface Stuck on the Subway. Fuck who you, says, Cans. <laughs> Fuck you, sorry. Don't, don't be mean to Cans. Don't actually be mean to Cans. I think we can pretend it's funny to protect our egos, but in the grand scheme of things, no one likes being made fun of. Okay, okay. Wild story incoming. Last month, we had to cancel our Boston trip after I was hospitalized. As a result, I had to use travel insurance to get my money back on our hotel, train, and restaurant reservations. Today, I got this message from Table Boston. And Table Boston is a restaurant that no longer exists? Oh, maybe this is going to end very funny. <laughs> That's very interesting. <clears throat> uh, they got it from, from them on Instagram, although it looks like, so we'll see. This is from Table. Hi Trevor, I own Table Restaurant in Boston. I just wanted to personally thank you for screwing over my restaurant and my staff when you disputed your cancellation fee. I really hope in the future you have more respect for restaurants, especially small businesses such as mine. Pathetic. What is the uh, the Simpsons meme? Pathetic Simpsons meme. That's so funny. <laughs> They, this is how they signed off their message. Pathetic. <laughs> that fucking rules. Uh, which you don't want to get from a restaurant. You know, like if you get sick, you have to cancel your trip. What are you going to do? It happens. I've canceled reservations at restaurants. Maybe Table North End is fancy, but I don't think you should get a message from the owner that says that. And this is a response from Trevor, I assume. Wow. My stomach turns with the gross decision to search for, find, and direct message a customer like this. Despite that shock- Oh, wait. Is Trevor going to be the cringe one? I was- I'm laughing at the restaurant, and I'm assuming because the restaurant doesn't exist on Twitter that they were being cringe. I'm a little worried that Trevor might be cringe now. Just noticing that Trevor has sent a very long message to the restaurant. Oh, no. Wow. My stomach turns with the gross decision to search for, find, and direct message a customer like this. Despite that shock, I hope the following message finds you well. <laughs> Tips Fedora. Firstly, I want to express my disappointment and shock at the tone and content of your message. Dude, why, uh, Trevor, just reply, you mad, bro? What are you doing here? Just don't even reply. Trevor, what are you, what is happening here? Firstly, I want to express my disappointment and shock at the tone and content of your message. As a patron and supporter of independent restaurants, I understand the challenge small businesses face, particularly in a post-COVID world. Trevor's trying to be a politician. My decision to use my credit card's travel insurance to address the lofty cancellation fee was not made lightly, and certainly not with the intention to screw over your establishment or your staff. It's crucial to note that my cancellation was due to unforeseen circumstances, specifically hospitalization, which falls under the protection of my travel insurance. This was not a matter of disrespect or disregard for your business, but a legitimate use of my consumer rights under exceptional circumstances of finding myself in the emergency room. Secondly, my husband did call the restaurant and was told that it was out of their control and to take it up with my credit card. If I was so butthurt, wait, the restaurant told them if you're butthurt, take it up with your credit card. That's actually so funny. This restaurant, this is a tennis match of volleys between the two most cringe people I've ever seen, but the restaurant is definitely on the cringe side now. The decision to reach out to a customer with such a scolding and disparaging message is, frankly, astounding. Such actions not only damage the rapport you have with your patrons, but also reflect poorly on your establishment's professionalism and customer service ethos. Okay. Given the nature of our interaction and your approach to this situation, I will no longer be considering table for my upcoming rebooked Boston plans next month. I will also be sharing my experience within my network and publicly, as it's important for potential customers to be aware of how situations like mine are handled. Moving forward, I hope you will consider a more empathetic and professional approach when dealing with similar situations. The success of small businesses is something I care deeply about. Wow. Wow, this streamer is so hot. <laughs> Frost Prime. I was being Trevor! Let me be Trevor for a minute! <laughs> Thank you for the sub. <laughs> Thank you for your attention to this matter. I wish you, and particularly your staff, all the best. 
Have the day you deserve. Oh, scathing. Oh, Trevor, have the day you deserve? Are you kidding me? Sincerely, Trevor. Yeah, that's... <laughs> How does this have 9 million views? <laughs> don't. Wow, this Trevor is so hot. You've never even seen Trevor. You don't even know what Trevor looks like. And I will say that we have to understand Trevor is probably at least marginally good looking because he was able to attract a husband. Funny thing is, because of their actions with sending you that message, now they have actually screwed over their restaurant considering 2.5 million people have seen this tweet. 2.5 an hour ago. Now it's 6 million. Wild. That was an hour ago. Now it's 9 million. They've been doing this for years. Wait, Table Boston has? What is the restaurant where they're really mean to you? D Dick's Last Resort? Dick's Last Stand? Big, big, biggest dickus? Oh, that was weird. I don't, yeah, I don't know why it opened that way. Sorry, there's multiple posts. Let me, <laughs> let me keep reading. Take away this whole digression. Take away me saying this isn't that bad. I thought three paragraphs was going to be a lot. I'm seeing some juice here. I am appalled at the behavior exhibited towards a customer. It's insane that the owner of an establishment would see the travel insurance claim and then go and hunt for the customer on Instagram. First, you are not a customer. Technically, maybe true. <laughs> Second, usually when people have a sensitive excuse, they reach out to a restaurant and cancel via phone by a mature professional- This is with Lon. Hank, thank you. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, I didn't, you know, because I started playing so many games and I stopped reacting as much, I was like, yeah, TTS, let's fucking do it. And now that I'm doing these, I remember why we turned off sounds in the first place. But I think the fucking $3 is worth it. <laughs> Retake Jake. <clears throat> first, you are not a customer. Second, usually when people have a sensitive excuse, they reach out to a restaurant and cancel via phone by a mature, professional conversation instead of disputing their credit card charge, which is hurtful to any business and their staff. To be clear, Trevor said that he did that. I'm embarrassed you don't get it. Again, I truly hope you have more respect for restaurants in the future. Trevor said that his husband called to cancel and they told him to, what, bend over and take it? I'm sorry, what did Trevor say that they said to his husband? They should take it up with their credit card company if they were so butthurt. And then they did take it up with their credit card company after calling and trying to have a professional mature conversation, I presume. Trevor responds again. It's disappointing to witness the continuation of these aggressive responses. Let me address your points succinctly. This is not succinct. This is actually anything if succinct. <clears throat> For clarity, I did indeed reach out to your restaurant to explain my situation, a point that seems to have been overlooked in your response. To quote the above, my husband did call the restaurant and was told that it was out of their control and to take it up with my credit card company if I was so butthurt. The decision to involve my credit card company was driven by the insurance policy tied to it, designed specifically to protect consumers in situations such as mine. The process was not a direct choice against your establishment, but a necessary step given the circumstances. In fact, not only a necessary step, a step that the restaurant told him to take. They said it's... <laughs> The other day I was playing Disco Elysium and a guy threatened me with a gun and I said, what are you going to do? Shoot me? And then the guy shot me. So I kind of get it. Sometimes you fuck around and you find out. <laughs> For context stands, because I don't think this is brought up, the cancellation fee was $250. And I do think it is important to mention that $250 for a cancellation fee, very high. Yeah, heartbreaking. Most annoying guy you know makes a good point. And I don't even know if he's annoying, but the way he is interacting with this restaurant is annoying. Mm. I assume that the $250 was like a down payment on maybe like a, a what, what, what do you call it? You know, you get like a a menu that was designed or whatever. Not a house. Omakase. Thank you. Omakase. I knew it was a Japanese word. Uh, so like you pay 250 If you show up, then you get that and you pay drinks, but you get canceled. Yeah, it's like buying a ticket to get your meal, but then they had to cancel it. Which explains maybe why the restaurant was so upset because that was essentially their product that was returned and not just a reservation. Stans does air quotes backwards. What do you mean? Sorry, do you do them like this? The fuck? Are you scratching your ears? I did not do it like that. I've never done this in my life. And if you clip it, it's fucking faked. <laughs> there's no way I did that. There's, there's literally no universe. I've never done this. Feels so foreign, so alien. I had hoped for a more. I had hoped for a more understanding and constructive exchange. Your responses only solidified my decision to disengage from any further patronage or communication with your restaurant. Interacting with guests. Tipsy online course. <laughs> That's so fucking annoying, Trevor. Trevor, don't send him a... <laughs> Let me Google that for you. How to be a good restaurant. That's... Uh, Trevor. 
Trevor, I like you, Trevor. You're in the right, Trevor, but you're being so fucking annoying, Trevor. <laughs> In the future, I would encourage a more empathetic and open-minded approach to customer service and communication. Trevor, I agree with you. Understand, and this is, to be fair, this is his succinct response, which includes multiple messages, a link to how to treat patrons, and reiterating that they think you need to be more empathetic at least four times. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Wait, Jen. Is Jen the owner? I, I got some context. Jenny, the owner, is going crazy on social media. So this is the owner of Table Restaurant who screenshotted this from Trevor Chauvin and said, boo-hoo. That's so fucking funny, dude. This is like an I think you should leave skit. It's like Jen is being comically evil for something that doesn't matter. It's a restaurant cancellation. You know what I mean? Boo-hoo. Call the ambulance, Trevor. You want to cry about it? She also replies, I spoke to about a dozen business owners today who shared their frustrations and people walking all over them and disputing their credit card charges. This has to stop. The lack of respect and entitlement is gross. And then she reposted her first, you are not a customer. Jen is dumb as bricks, but I bet she hot. What makes you say that? Just because she's mean? Just because you had a bad relationship with your mom and you are turned on by mean women doesn't mean that Jen, the owner of this restaurant, is hot. Let's be clear about that. She's back for more. So, you used your credit card travel insurance for our policy and then disputed your fee. Even worse, you were reimbursed. Don't ever say you have respect for small independent restaurants because you don't. Also, nobody on my staff spoke to your husband in that manner. Not a single human on my staff would ever use the words butthurt. Shame on you. Now, Trevor, Trevor, if you look at her social media pages, I can almost guarantee that Jen has said the words butthurt on her Twitter or her Instagram. And if you find it, Trevor, you have the greatest clapback of all time. What if you had a recording of her saying that to your husband, Trevor, because it was Jen who said that? No employee is gonna say that, that would be insane. They would get fired, but an owner? An owner would say it. It'll be my final correspondence on the matter, as it's clear that further dialogue will not lead to a productive outcome for either of us. I wish you and your restaurant the best in your future endeavors. Sincerely, Trevor. <clears throat> Good God, woman, give it a rest and stop posting about me. Wait, is he Trevor? I'm reading Trevor's Twitter! How did I not know I'm a fool? I'm getting a biased accounting of this. <laughs> Ghostface stuck on the subway is Trevor. I'm getting baited by Trevor, man. Oh no, where else would you read? I thought this was an independent journalist who was trying to give me all the facts, like Tucker Carlson. Now threats. Our legal team has been contacted. We privately messaged you and you chose to take this public. Yeah, but you privately messaged him with boo-hoo, bitch. <laughs> Are you butthurt, gay boy? She was like the worst person in the world. <laughs> Dear Trevor, you are failing to tell everybody that you disputed your credit card charge, which is extremely hurtful to small businesses. We email... It's crazy because Trevor mentions it five times in his message that goes on so long. Trevor writes like a Civil War soldier. My dearest table restaurant, my heart yearns for you with the burning of 10,000 suns, but the southerners are pushing the hill today, and I know I might not see you on the morrow. And then Jen's just like, hey, bitch, where's our money? It's just crazy. It's fucking crazy to me that this is happening. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are there going to be shooters for the restaurant here? You had a reservation, but canceled because with a Z of illness. You were then charged, how much because of the cancellation? $250. You called to ask that the fee be forgiven and they told you to call your credit card. You correctly used your card insurance to have the fee refunded. Is that right? $250 and yes, all correct. <laughs> That's it. Not shocked to see this at all. I'm only blocked by two people here that I know of. Jen Royal and one of Trump's lawyers who was arrested and pled guilty. <laughs> what a funny... <laughs> What a funny fucking duo. Holes. Oh, this is her and her bulldogs. That's Jen. Damn, her dogs are so fucking cute. I love bulldogs. I think the uglier the dog, the better the dog. I've always said that. Bulldog mom. Chronicle link. She has a YouTube. Oh, take a seat at Jen's table. 3,000 views. Let's get to know Jen. Hi, I'm Jen Royal, and this is my Boston. Come right here and turn around and sit. Well, not turn around there. Come up here and turn around. I don't want to judge people based on their accents, but...
But I gotta say, I just feel like people with a Boston accent are assholes, you know? Self-proclaimed homebody Jen Royal is the owner of three North End businesses, Table, Table Mercado, and Table Cafe. You can't call those three restaurants, can you? I assume they're all, like, connected. But her favorite role is dog mom to Truman, Polly, and Francis. Oh, I like Francis. Three's good. Three dogs, three businesses. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Come on, Truman. Come on, buddy. This is the kind of shit that goes on local news. This is crazy. Who fucking cares? Go to work. How you doing? Hello. Ciao. Why are you looking so... Beautiful. I do. <laughs> Gaetano is trying to teach me Italian. It's not working out. <laughs> but somebody emailed me yesterday and said, Grazie. Oh, oh my God, imagine. Someone emailed me yesterday and said they canceled their reservation. This guy's really pissing me off. <laughs> I wish. I fucking dream. <laughs> that would be so sick. <laughs> About what? 30 people gather around two tables at the cozy Hanover Street Eatery. Diners devour Royal's seven-course prefix menu. Everything is served family style, of course. Right before people sit down, they introduce themselves to everybody. Like, where else do you see that? That's exactly what Does she make them do that? I hate, I, I live in Los Angeles, and sometimes you want to go to a hip restaurant because you want to try some good food or new food, and sometimes they make you sit right next to someone. I would rather kill myself. Does it? I, I don't want to sit next to a stranger. Sometimes you're having a conversation. Sometimes it's something that's like really specific. It's like, I've been constipated lately. I really got a lot of shit inside me. And I don't want someone to hear that right next to me. It's like, come on. It's group. Did he like it? Did she like it? My restaurant is so different than everybody else's. You know, it costs $98 just to sit down. So if somebody's coming into the restaurant and spending that amount of money, it has to be good and it has to, it has to be different. $250 just to sit down now. Well, there you go. And fans of Royals and her dogs can keep up with their every move on her Twitter feed. But be prepared for some, shall we say, salty language. Her social media followers know her for being unfiltered, raw, and as her bio says, unlikely to apologize. Oh, no. I think she's since changed her bio. Oh, I can't see it. Finding her wiki? Got it. <clears throat> Jennifer L. Royal is a disgraced American former sports reporter and writer who's known for working for the Yes Network as a New York-based reporter for the MLB New York Yankees baseball team from 03 to 06. She is also known as a chef and contestant on ABC's The Taste and Food Network's Beat Bobby Flay. I actually think Beat Bobby Flay might be my favorite cooking show. She's currently becoming more known for her recent retaliatory comments and frivolous lawsuit against a customer of a restaurant. Was this updated today? It's been two hours. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the tea on the battle between Jen and Trevor. I can't believe I didn't realize it was... Wait. Is that April Rhodes? Holy shit, it goes deeper. Glee is in the zeitgeist, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of here. But before I go, check out my podcast. It's called Binge and Cringe. It's where me and Joe watch Glee. And this, this woman is a character on Glee, so it's really good. Okay, I will see you next time, uh, YouTube. Bye. Goodbye.